Hi guys, welcome back to another uh, tutorial on um, WinCC Somatic. Um, what we're going to have a quick look at is scripts. Um, excuse me while I take a little drink. Right, what we've done, just to, to quickly show you, is we've added our uh, little lamp and a little lens. And what we're going to do is quite simply when we click this button here which is a VB script button we're going to tell it to run a script so the first thing to do is to add our script so if you go to the left hand side here through your directory add your script it's as simple as first first off we need to just know what that um, tag is and I think I set the, sorry I set the tag to 23 okay so it's simple as this you type in tag underscore 23 notice how it now turns yellow when it's correct okay when it recognizes that that tag is an existing tag it will turn yellow if it stays in black then it's possibly not the correct uh, tag number we'll just stick that to equal to true okay simple as that okay so when we go back we now have to say go and run that script so on the events oops I'll delete that out under your events for pressing that button we need to add a script so if we select our click scroll through here and at the bottom you will find user scripts and we've got script for so just select it when we run that we find now that when we press the button the script runs and the lamp goes on okay let's do another little quick thing just to prove a point we're going to add another script okay I'm going to change the name of this so you can rename it and we're going to do color and I can't spell color the O L U R. okay so there we go it's given us a script and we've renamed it as color so I'll leave that for the moment we're going to quickly add in uh, two buttons and I'm going to call one green and I'm going to call the other one uh, yellow okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to change the background colour of this screen to be uh, green or yellow. And that's if I can remember the, uh, the values. So what we need to do first is that when we click these we need to set a value. Um, now yes I'm going around this the long way because what you could do here is literally say on event, on click and then you could select something from the screen and change it to the background what I'm trying to do here is uh, prove the point that we can use it and run it as a script okay so when we on the on click event we want to run the color script but first of all we've got to send the script a number uh, script a value so let's put in um, oops where are we on click there we go we need to send when we've clicked on the click of this button we need to send it a value so under here somewhere is set value if I can find it it'll be down here a little there we go set value we're going to choose a, a new tag uh, tag 26 as an internal tag the important thing here is set it to integer okay so we run that to an integer and we give the integer value as one so when we click this button it's going to put one a value of one into tag 26 um, the other thing I then need it to do is once I've set the value is for it to go and run the script so uh, again you go down to the bottom of the screen 
select the color script and now it will run that script I've got to do exactly the same for the um, for the yellow button so I can cheat here I can right click and copy and I can paste but this time I'm just going to change that value to 2 okay because we need a distinction between the two buttons and I'll just copy this again just to make things a lot quicker and paste that into there so again I want you to run the same script but I'm going to send two different values depending on which button I'm going to press I'm either going to send it a value of 1 or I'm going to send it a value of 2 okay so let's go to our script now under this I'm going to um, basically I'm going to uh, use a little uh, select and case uh, uh, command uh, which we've done uh, which is a standard VB oops phones ringing sorry right sorry there we go so we're going to use this VB script and we're going to use select in case so the command in VB is select case and remember our tag value which was tag underscore 26 okay so now we have got a uh, a value that we're sending into the script which is tag 26 and remember uh, going back to uh, those two that is going to be a value of 2 or 1 okay so now we need to create our cases so case 1 is going to be and here we uh, we can cheat a little because we can go to uh, right click in at this point and select our uh, members okay and we should have HMI somewhere let me just find it and I will come back to you it's quicker this way okay so where were we right click list members if you type in HMI we need the HMI runtime so double click onto that one now at this point we need to then give it the object so we click the dot and it's the screen okay we need to choose the screen so within the whole program which is HMI runtime we choose screens okay and we need to select the screen that we want which is going to be our main okay and then dot again and we select back color okay now back color there is our object here so it's our object is HMI run screens a HMI runtime dot screens select the screen that you want to change dot our back color that is the object part that we want to change equal to now we do it in the RGB RGB oh B there we go okay and then by opening your brackets you will notice that you now get three values red green blue and they've got to be as integers now if I remember rightly I think green was something like 0 2 5 5 um, 2 so I'm putting in the value of red as 0 full 255 green and I'm adding a little bit of blue okay we close that down uh, close the brackets down okay and hit return case 2 now we can cheat here rather than doing all of this again in fact no I will do it all again case 2 okay we select by right clicking list members just type in H M and you will come to the one that we want and for some reason that's I've moved my cursor unbelievable there we go let's try that again uh, that's where it is right list members HMI runtime dot screens open your brackets select the one that you want dot 
our back colour equals RGB then our colour which I think yellow was 254 comma 255 comma 21 there we go so we've now got our two cases not forgetting because we've used a select case command here we've got to now close that select off so end select okay so what we're going to do is when that button is pressed, as we've said before, a value is going to be attached to that variable tag 26. Based on that value, whether it be a 1 or a 2, it's going to select case 1 or case 2. And then depending on which one it is, it's going to then select the main screen, select the back colour of that screen and change it to the new RGB value. So let's give it a go. Press our runtime. We press the green. Hey presto, the screen turns green. <laughs> and we hit the yellow button and it changes to yellow. Now I don't use a great deal of VB, um, as you can probably tell uh, by my stuttering of it, uh, but it does come in handy on occasions. Uh, mainly for things like communications and other objects things like Excel that you can drag in uh, into your uh, system which we'll have a quick look at uh, in the next video so there we go there's a little bit of VB you have to be careful uh, I will like I've said before there are certain commands that you can't use message box for example is um, a command from uh, VB but notice even though it allows me to do it when that this little blue squiggly line underneath it means it won't allow it, me to run it only in the other versions of uh, of WinCC which I think is a professional version will it allow you to use message box in the flexible versions it won't allow you to use it I think Siemens has, has stated something that it's a security issue um, and that, of course, you've got to pay more money for the professional version of WinCC uh, to be able to use things like that. So just beware, some of the commands will not work, but for general commands, um, it does work.